Hello, I'm Joral Farley on youtube.com slash Joral Techie and in this summer programming tutorial I will be showing you how to retime as well as stabilize your clips in iMovie. Firstly, let's open up iMovie like usual. Now that iMovie is up, let's start out by importing some clips that I think need stabilization. Use the same drag and drop method that I showed you in a previous video. Wait while it copies the files. Once your files have imported, drag the shaky clips into the timeline using the same drag and drop method that I showed you in a previous video. Now, hover over the clip and find the preferences button. Click it. Then, go into clip adjustments. Now, Click on stabilization button, which is right there. Wait while it analyzes for stabilization. If this is a long clip, this may take a while. You'll see that your video will be zoomed in. This is because it needs to compensate for extra shape. Click done and view the result. Still not happy? Go into clip adjustments and this time apply rolling shutter correction. I always have it on high. That's about as good as it gets in iMovie, although if you're using Final Cut Pro 10, of course the results will be much better. Now I will show you how you can help speed up and slow down <laughs> clips. Let's select some video out of our event library. Go into the preferences, click on video adjustments, adjust the levels for a better result. Now, on the slider, increase and decrease the speed. Decreasing the speed will make it slower. Increasing the speed will make it faster. Please note that the audio will also be sped up if you have it in sped up mode. Also note that if you slow it down, the same effect will happen to the audio. For a best effect when speeding up, smooth clip motion in order to solve for any unexpected shakes or bumps that may appear rough in sped up video. And that's about it! Now you have learned how to speed up, retime, stabilize, and reduce motion distortion in iMovie. Thank you for watching this video, and for more informative iMovie tutorials, head over to youtube.com slash Thank you for watching.